Union Minister of State, Science and Technology Dr. Jitendra Singh on Wednesday announced a baffling decision of opening 75 science, technology and innovation hubs in different parts of the countries exclusively for scheduled caste and scheduled rights. Singh said that the decision was taken after a high-level review meeting with senior officials of the departments of science and technology. The development of new STIs comes at the heels of 20 other STIs incorporated by the government in the last two years and that too exclusively for the SC and ST community. Hi and welcome, you're watching TFI English, the national socio-political analysis arm of the TFI Media Group. I am your host Isha and in this video I will tell you how the Modi government is sending mixed signals when it comes to dealing with the reservation issue. The union minister remarked, These hubs will not only promote a scientific talent but also contribute to the socio-economic development of these communities. In the last two years, 20 STI hubs have already been established by DST which will directly benefit 20,000 ST and ST population through various interventions spreading across the farm, non-farm and other allied livelihood sectors and various livelihood assets like energy, water, health, education, etc. What about equality? Ask netizens. The decision by the centre immediately drew a sharp response. The promise for equality enshrined in Articles 15 and 16 of the Indian Constitution supposedly went for a toss when it came to positive discrimination or reservation lines. While it is understandable that why such practice has been introduced, the government should not strive to widen the divide even further. Reservation in jobs and education already gives a meaty pie of the cake to the SCs and STs. Involving them here and segregating the generals, EWS and OBCs in research centres create a feeling of alienation. Safe to say, the netizens weren't impressed by the union minister's decision and took him to the cleaners. One of the users asked the Modi government, what was the fault of the general people? Dear Narendra Modi ji, we thought at least in your terms, general category people will get good benefits from government. But your government doing more caste benefits, SCs, STs and minorities. Does Dr. Jitendra Singh can explain what is the mistake of GC people? Meanwhile, another asked the government if it was doing justice to citizens with its decision. Are you doing justice with all Indian citizens? Government itself doing discrimination in education and training? That's ridiculous and anguishing shame. Narendra Modi and Rashtrapati Bhavan dividing India into castes. Other netizens reminded the union minister of his roots and how through the centres of exclusive teaching he was setting a dangerous precedent. Jitendraji of Jammu should know better than to say exclusively for. As a person with roots in Jammu but raised in the northeast, I know the stenching feeling of being na ghar ka, na ghat ka. Furthering this trend in any is the last thing BJP should do. Avoid shortcuts. The decision goes entirely against BJP's ethos of creating a progressive society. The abrogation of Articles 370 and 35A was done so that the community ownership of the land and property by a particular community could be challenged in Jammu and Kashmir. It was meant to be a skipping stone for creating a homogenized society in the valley and bring back the old occupants of the land that were forced out in an exodus. If the aforementioned two articles were not removed, JNK would have remained a closed society with Islamists having the sole right over the land, property and everything in between. The Modi government is sending mixed signals on how it wants to deal with the reservation issue. While on one hand, the government takes a laudable step by introducing 27% reservation for OBCs and 10% reservation for economically weaker section in the All India Quota Scheme for undergraduate and postgraduate medical dental courses, it simultaneously, on the other hand, goes ahead and announces such a partisan decision clearly aimed at wooing the creamy layers within the SCST community. And this is not about encroaching on the rights of SCs or STs, apart from the URS. What about the tribal communities in the northeastern part of the country or tribal belts in Chhattisgarh, Orissa or Jharkhand that do not come under the ambit of SC or ST? What is the government doing to bring inclusivity to the table? The tribals of Northeast and the tribals of left-wing extremism areas have faced innumerable social stigmas and continue to do so even after 70 years of independence. Development is still a far cry in most areas where issues as basic as education, housing, electricity and all where the roads are yet to make their mark. The political leaders looking to gobble up the vote bank continue to add advantageous groups to the SC and ST list while leaving the backward classes to fend off the discrimination on their own. 
believing in the concept of social justice and then making such unilateral decision is something that the current regime should avoid. The minister should come out and remark that the word exclusive was a mistake and take back the decision. Unlike the previous administrations, the Modi government tends to listen to the furore if it is legitimate. Thus, one can be hopeful that the government retreats and comes up with a more inclusive announcement.